elements. Are shown in the periodic table and the mass number. is known as relative atomic mass. This is because Because the atomic relative atomic mass is an average because it's an average of all the masses. Of all the isotopes with the same number of protons. Pending on the natural abundance. Therefore, going back to Romy, which has a has so which has two isotopes both of equal abundance seventy nine BR and eighty one BR. The relative atomic mass is equal to an average of seventy nine and eighty one. Therefore, the relative atomic mass you'll find in your periodic table is eighty BR. So on date on in your data book on page four you can see the relative atomic masses of selected elements. So as for carbon, we've got a mass of twelve and chlorine thirty five point five. This shows that it's an average of more than one isotope. These relative atomic masses can be used with your atomic number 
on page one to determine the number of neutrons, protons, and electrons. Now I'm going to go through an example. This is a 2004 question, question one, um, to show what we've just gone through. The nuclide notation for an isotope of hydrogen is 1,1. One, one. An isotope of bromine has the atomic number of 35 and the mass number of 81. The nuclide notation for this isotope of bromine. So, as, as I showed before, the mass number goes on top, 81, and the atomic mass number goes at the bottom, 35. As I discussed before, mass number, part, we're doing part two now, the mass number equal to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So if we know the number of, we know the mass number, which is 81, and we know the number of protons, because it's the same as the atomic number, so it's 35, plus the neutrons, uh, neutrons. We can work out the neutrons by taking 81, 35 from 81, so neutrons equals 81 minus 35, which is equal to 46. So how many neutrons are there in this isotope? 46 neutrons. Okay, and the last question is about the relative atomic mass. Bromine has two isotopes. One has the mass number of 81, which is the same as here, and the other has the mass number of 79. The relative atomic mass of bromine is 80. What does this tell you about the percentage of each isotope of bromine? Bromine, as I discussed before, is the element. These are both, both the isotopes are atoms. So the bromine, the relative atomic mass, is the average of the masses of all the isotopes, depending on the nature of their abundance. So if to get 80, as the average, you have to have 50% 81 and 50% 79. So what does it tell you about the percentage of each isotope in bromine? So as relative atomic mass is and Average of mass number or isotopes depending on abundance. tells us that is 50% of each isotope. These are relatively straightforward questions, but I still, still recommend going to the description on the tutorial video and looking through all the past questions to get as much practice as you possibly can. Thank you very much for watching.